Okay, so today we're going to finalize our plant milk videos and lessons. This one is going to be specifically about oats, oat milk. This oat concoction has been soaking for two days now. Because of the snow and everything, I really got sidelined. But oats, really, I said earlier you could soak them for 30 minutes. I think you can even soak them for as little as 15 minutes and have oat m milk available. Now let's just check the time uh, just to give you an idea how long it takes to make this. So it's 11.50 and uh, it's now February 19th. We started soaking these a few days ago. I'll show you how cold it is outside. You see the uh, snow. We just had a snowstorm here on the east coast. So I just want you to see how chaotic the, situ the uh, conditions are and you can still make all these things. So here's my grinder, I explained that a little bit earlier, and I'm just going to mix it up, uh, blend it, and then I'm going to put it through my strainer here, my makeshift strainer. This is T-U-L-L-E material, I said T-U-L-E earlier. Um, you can use a half a cup of sh or a quarter cup of sugar, and I won't, and, but some people do. And you can also use a teaspoon of vanilla or almond extract if you like it sweetened up. Uh, but again, I won't. In the computer, you can see it's 11.52. Just shows you how quickly it takes to make uh, oat milk and how crazy it is to be getting it from a poor cow and uh, killing all the baby boy cows and depriving all the baby girl cows, not to mention the horrendous toll it takes on the mommy cows. Now you might have to adjust the amount of water you like. To me this tastes a lot like skim milk. I'm just trying to get most of the oats in the blender and then we can always add the water later. If you heat this up, it becomes a thick, thick porridge. So it looks like a lot of the you'll get your own process that'll work for you after a few times it'll be almost like second nature. This is mostly water. This is one cup oats and six cups water. If you were going to put your sugar in, uh, you would put it in now, a quarter cup. So I'm going to rinse this. And this will be stored cold right away in a bottle. 
And this can be mixed in uh, one of the other recipes that we use to thicken. Oatmeal is a great thickener, maybe a veggie burger or a meatloaf, or just plain and heat it up and cook it as oatmeal. So I would definitely not throw it out. The only thing that's been done to this is that it has been soaking in water, tap water, and it's been beaten up. Now, here's the remainder of the water. You can check. So this was six cups of tap water. You can leave this aside to make sure that this is not too watery for your taste. Here's your oat milk. So we used six cups of water. This here is four cups of water. Four cups. And then we have a bit more here. Maybe. So uh, you get at least four cups out of six cups. Maybe it's not four cups. So it's three cups here. Three cups of milk that you got out of six cups. And if you so this is a little under a cup. This is three quarters cup. So we put in six cups and we got back three cups and so three and three quarters cups back. You'll taste this, check it for your taste, put in your pinch of salt and if you want to add sugar you can add sugar now even and some extract, vanilla extract or almond. But here is your almond milk. No, I mean oat milk. Here's your oat milk. Cost pennies and I think you'll find it delicious. So let's see what time it is. And we'll also see what's left here. Not much. I'll rinse it out before we make our next milk. So 12.02. So that took about 10 minutes. Okay, I hope you learned a lot from the oat milk experience. It takes about 10 minutes. Uh, one cup of this, six cups of tap water gave us about a little under four cups back. Thank you. Bye-bye.